Clubroot, old disease, new solutions with Rapul breeding. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure for me to share with you the latest information and breeding activities facing Plasmodiophora brassicae, the soul called Clubroot. My name is Malte Grohal. I studied agriculture in Kiel. I'm employed at the Norddeutsche Pflanzenzucht Hans Georg Lemke KG in Hohenlied, nearby Kiel in the northern part of Germany. And I'm also a member of the Rapul Technical Marketing Team Germany for seven years now. Let's have a look on the key facts about Plasmodiophora brassicae from literature and our own experiences. The soil-born biotrophic protist Plasmodiophora brassicae is a pathogen which causes clubroot disease on our oilseed rape and other brassicaceae. Brassicaceae can be host plants like here our oilseed rape, but also radish or shepherd's purse, which is known as a weed. The galls, or let's call it the clubs, can harbor millions of new resting spots that can persist in the soil for at least 20 years and in fact afterwards again our oilseed rape or cruciferous cover crops. Especially warm autumns with higher soil temperature up to 20 to 25 degrees in combination with soil moisture increase the risk of clubroot diseases. Symptoms of infestation with Plasmodiophora brassicae, let's call it clubroot, can be found in different plant stages. Often we find small scaled areas with underdeveloped plants in the fields as the first indication of clubroot infestations. When we dig out some plants from these areas, we see the clubs or the galls in autumn. Here I can present you a photo I have taken in December, which shows heavy infestation of clubroot in our non-resistant variety in our clubroot stress test here in Hohenlied. If infestation took place in springtime, you can even find heavy symptoms to the begin of flowering, as we see here. Here we have mapped the geographical distribution of clubroot from our own experience in European rapeseed cultivation. Hotspots can be identified along the Baltic Sea coast from northern and eastern Germany, along Poland and of course in the Baltics, which are also of course the traditional rapeseed cultivation areas. We find moderate infestation situations on a larger scale, including in more continental areas like the middle and south Germany and also among the center of Poland. Now I would like to share with you some detailed information from the German market and research. In Germany, hybrids with clubroot resistance, which works race specific, have a level of about 9% of the cultivated winter oilseed rape area in total. That means that about 100,000 hectares are cultivated with clubroot resistance material in Germany at the moment. And the trend from the past seven years shows a slightly increasing clubroot area. This graph is based on sales and our own market research. The clubroot pathogen can be found in different races in the soils, as you can see on the map here. In 2022, our German Federal Research Institute for Cultivated Plant carried out a monitoring on 115 fields to map the different races. Different races of Plasmodiophora brassicae were found and each marked in color in this map. The red marked P1 and the blue marked P3 are the most common races of Plasmodiophora brassicae which were found. First, the good news. Our clubroot resistant varieties protect against exactly these P1 and P3. We call it our Mendel resistant. 
but that would be too easy. There are also certain P1 and P3 that can defeat the resistance and cause clubroot also on our resistant material. These are marked with a cross. You can see it here, the crossed red points and the crossed blue points. In this monitoring, around 40% of the total found P1 were able to defeat our Mendel resistance material. Please keep this in mind. In 2022, Rapul presented the world's first variety with an enhanced resistant. It's the variety Creed, which also protects against those shown P1 plus or P1 cross on the map. This allowed us to do a stress test on 20 clubroot contaminated fields in Germany, which shows this result. It shows that our normal Mendel resistance is still working very stable, but by using this new extended resistance CRE1, we had in the stress test four more fields without clubroot systems. That means an increase of security and cultivation of about 20% in this stress test. These are very good news from our Rapul breeding department. The breeding work to develop a clubroot resistance began in 1987, one year after my birth. Through hard breeders' work in several projects with universities and several projects over 12 years, the first approved variety with Mendel resistance was at the market in 2001. It was a variety called Mendel. Milestones with more yields and better agronomy were established with Mentor, Chrome, Now, Crocodile and Chromat at the market. And new varieties also with this enhanced CRE1 resistance are on the current timeline, like Create and Credo. So I would like to come to the end of my presentation with our recommendations to you. There are genetic answers to clubroot, but we have to pay attention to the agricultural principles in order to remain in control of the situation. You have to eliminate the host plants for clubroot, also the volunteers. This is very important. So a strict volunteer management can slow infestations and frequency. In case of clubroot infestation, only use clubroot resistant varieties. Please keep in mind a four year cultivation break. This also applies for clubroot resistant catch crops. Later sowing dates can reduce also the risk of infestations because there we have often lower soil temperature under 16 degrees. Also a higher pH in the soil and well aerated soils, so a good soil structure, make infestations more difficult. Dry conditions do it as well. So thank you very much that I could share our latest breeding activities and solutions facing clubroot.